This is Brett, who came over for what he said were snacks and studying. But what really happened? He fucked Keanu's mom. Oh, nice. He fucked his mom, got her knocked up, and at this point in his life, Keanu was a hardcore Christian. Wait, does he call him daddy? No, because oh. it's not his dad's. But I was getting to it. His unaborted fetus brother, who was going to be born with Down syndrome, had... <laughs> Jesus got Christ. Yeah, he... He has a bad, bad genes, Brett, but he fucked his mom and knocked her up with uh, his brother that was going to be born with <laughs> Down Syndrome. So Keanu wants nothing to do with this guy. It's just a dark chapter in his life and he wants to move past it. Well, Keanu is definitely moving past it. He right didn't even he didn't have time for him. He wants to forget him that much. Just get out of my life. I don't even want to think about you anymore. But yeah, Jesus. knocked his mom up and she had to get an abortion and Keanu just wasn't happy about it. Because well, at that point in his life, he was a hardcore Christian. Let me tell you about Craig. What about Craig? Craig was Keanu's next door neighbor when Keanu was eight. <laughs> On the left side or the right side or across the street? Right across the street. So he to... See, but, he, but Keanu had a one-story house. <laughs> and Craig, Craig had a two-story house. That motherfucker. With a basement. So he's got a three-story house. What a piece See? of Look, shit. This is part of his basement. I think this was one of the secret entries. So You're Craig, on his Craig, ground, though. Craig used to stand and uh, lure little children from his fucking milkman truck. I know normally people wouldn't think it would be from a milkman truck, but he did it. Because most people don't have those, but some people do. How'd the eight-year-old get a, get the money for a milkman truck? He didn't. He used to live across the street from him, and he would stare at him through the window and want to kidnap him. Like oh, he wanted to kidnap children. Keanu? Yes. Oh, God. Like all the other little children. Oh, God. And, uh... Hey, yuck! Would he murder the kids? He would, first he would uh, he would strap him to the ground in the basement and uh, color him with uh, ketchup and mustard <laughs> all over the walls and the ke and, uh, and and the floor and um, he would put them on little conveyor belts and there would be like little hot dog sausage links and as they fell down in the pit they would get sprayed like ketchup and mustard sometimes what a relish fucking sick freak yeah but he would uh, he would never like touch these children he would just experiment with them like like how many limbs he could attach to them each one from each other body and oh like, god and like and like he would like what happened to the kids many, he like, took the limbs from he would like see how many like asian eyes he could put together to make like a better scene like he was all about experimentation <laughs> and like doing things the right way you know um what would he do with the kids he took the limbs from would he send them back to their homes yeah sometimes sometimes he would wrap them up sometimes he wouldn't he would just let them sit there <laughs> and, like, what newspaper yeah <laughs> shrink wrap them Sometimes. It depends on how much they were bleeding. <laughs> but anyways, so uh, he f forever wanted to kidnap Keanu and put him in his basement. And so Keanu, after being touched by this man, because this man, Craig, decided that he was actually falling in love with uh, little eight-year-old Keanu. Um, basically, he did that to his butt. To Keanu's butt? Yeah. Did Keanu kill him? That's Yeah, he just killed him. That's good. Yeah, those people. He had his revenge on Craig. Those people are lower than scum. Yep. All right. Well, this is Tracy. This was the first girl Keanu ever had a crush on, and she didn't reciprocate his feelings. And then, not only did she not reciprocate his feelings, he gave her a very heartfelt, very nice written poem in the in the uh, the tenth grade for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And uh, she ended up. I bet it sucked. No, it was a really good poem. He actually turned it in as part of a project and actually won an award for it. But anyway, oh dude, that's cool. She, she uh, she said I she. Didn't would... know Keanu was so obsessed with. Oh man, he's a he's a fucking he's a lady killer, man. But uh, bitch. Seriously. And uh, yeah, she he asked her if she would meet him on the school roof because uh, he was really into anime and that's what they do in Japanese anime is they meet the, everybody on the school roofs. That and sounds... she said she would, and she met him up on the school roof, and uh, all the jocks were there. From football, he played baseball and volleyball and track. He played every sport but football, and uh, all the football jocks were up there, and they uh, they did cruel things to him. They ended up what they do, they fucking they peed on his uh, poem. They ended up spitting in his ear. That's... They tied him down and uh, sh they tied him down and tried to put shit on him. That's but pretty Keanu gay pl peeing on the phone. <laughs> yeah, man, they wanted to do something gay like pee on him, but uh, Keanu tried to fight back, but uh, he got a good few swings in, but uh. She ended up trying to pretend like she was gonna break up the fight, but then she kicked him in the testicles, causing a, uh, causing, da God damn it, causing him to become partly infertile. So, 
partly. Yeah. <laughs> so what he's firing he blanks like two out of every three times. Oh, I thought you were saying that like he was gonna have like a four-armed kid. No, God forbid. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, he's partly infertile. His sperm is only firing on like two-third cylinders. Could you imagine if that was? Yeah. It'd be like haunting Craig. Yeah. What'd you do? Part of my control is breaking like fucking Melissa's. Already? The bottom left. Really? Yeah. Don't but anyway, that was Tracy. Tight. So who's this blue fellow? Oh, I actually, you know what? I don't actually think Kiana knows this man. Oh, so he's just murdering a random guy. Yeah. What? A, you know what? Kiana's got a lot of aggression. All that childhood trauma. He's just he's just trying to work through. Oh no, it. no, this is Meg. Meg. Yeah. Now I recognize Meg. Uh, Meg. It's Mega Man? <laughs> no. Meg did, I didn't know Meg was part of the Blue Man group. I mean, Blue Woman group. I didn't know they even had that. No, Meg used to work at In N Out in Las Vegas. I guess she got a job, but uh, she spit on uh, Keanu's burger. You didn't read about that in the news? I think I might have seen it once. Yeah. Right when she was leaving, fucking... right when she was leaving, she was like, <laughs> And she accidentally oh, spit oh. all over his uh, burger, and he wasn't happy about it. But was he it never a 4x4? Oh. What did he order? Was it a 4x4 or an animal style? Now it, it's for real. Or was it a regular burger? Uh, it was a 4x4. It was a specialty, but it, had, it was animal style. That's how you know, because it was it was real good. That's not a that's not a cheap thing. A 4x4 animal style burger? Piece of shit, Did Meg. a cloud just fall out of the sky? Sure did. But still, Meg uh, is spitting it, and he's just still not happy to this day. Well, no, dude, he yeah, spit. Take her out. Oh, Jesus. No, never mind. She, dude, she wants to spit Fucking on Meg. Kelly's grave. Meg, die. Nope. Meg, not today. No more you spit, baby. New. Fucking Meg, you son of a bitch. Does Keanu eat it in and out to this day? Yeah, just not with Meg. He just won't do it in Vegas anymore? Yeah. 